hasn't been made public, the bid, to see where any of these structures are going. How does that make you feel? I think they need to put that information out there um, because I think that you know the people in the areas of where the structures will be need to need to be, have a say in the matter. Well, they definitely should make it public and let everybody have an um, opportunity to see, you know, where's it going to be hosted, how much is the cost, where's the cost going. We want to see everything. I think the people who have to live here should have to decide, should get to decide. There hasn't been any public comment period and no opportunity for input. It's all kind of happening behind closed doors. And I know that there's this special Olympic committee, I think, or yeah. something that exists like that. Yeah, exactly. But again, I think it's all about the politics and the money and not so much about the people and what kind of benefits is it going to bring. So it's kind of like an elite closed off group that is mostly like campaigning for the Olympics to happen here and there's not a lot of say from people who would be affected. It's kind of funny because you know here in Boston that's where the revolution started over issues like that without representation um, so for them to go against that and, and, and do that without people's say in it kind of goes against everything that was started here. Does you know? it make you upset that the bid has been secret that you can't really read about any of the proposed plans? About about an Olympics, Olympics coming to Boston. I didn't know anything about it until you came up to me, man. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm like, kind of appalled. Would you have would, liked to have been able to weigh in on it before they submitted the bid? Well, does everybody in Hawaii like a, a, a heads up on a volcano eruption? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, would, I, would, I would think, yeah. Would you have liked to have seen the proposal prior to being submitted to the USOC? Absolutely. Is that available to read? Mm -hmm. It's not. It's not. Okay. <laughs> okay. We would like it to be. Why do you think it's so secret? I don't know. The citizens would really like to know what's going on. Based on my experience here, I think the Boston thing to do would be to make it completely transparent. I think the people who have to live here should have to decide, should get to decide. Uh, the people who's you know, uh, we're going to be affected by it. Have any public projects that Massachusetts has had gone poorly before? Yeah, I picked dig, but I mean, that wasn't really, I wouldn't really say that was so much Massachusetts' fault. You know, there was some, you know, um, contractors in it for the money, you know. Now, how do we keep that from happening with an Olympics? If the elected officials say that they won't go over cost, do you believe them? <laughs> like the big dig? Yes, like the big dig. Yeah, yeah, no, it's everything goes over cost. The fact that they're doing all these things without the public statement is exact proof that they don't really give two rats buns about what we think. And they're going to do what they're going to do because they're going to do what's going to be best for their interests, their personal interests. What's the reasoning behind that, you think? I don't know. Just to not give everybody, not fully disclose everything so they can move along without having to. Why do you think it's been so secretive? Just because I think there's a lot of negative opinion against it too. They don't want people to, um, they want to make the decision and be like, oh yeah, it's going to be held in Boston this year. Instead of having other people say, no, we shouldn't have it here. There are so many problems as to why this isn't a great idea. Yeah. So they, I don't know, that's, that's what I think they're trying to do. Why do you think it's been secret this whole time? I have no idea. I don't really know. It's very odd.